what's going on everybody I'm out here with Tom CPU we're out here supporting Aiden today and uh, Tom can you give us a little bit of a rundown of what's going you've been out here live streaming for quite a while yeah there's a lot going on um, Aiden's lawyer is uh, cross-examining the victim and she is having problems with what she wrote for a statement versus the answers she's given Bradel. And the judge is very inquisitive of that. And hopefully he keeps digging, and he seems to be, to get the truth out. And it's looking good for Aiden so far. What time she, did you get down here today? Oh, I was here at, uh, I think it was 8.30. 8.30. Tried to get him coming in. And they've been in court all day. He's been here. Yeah. He was there early with his lawyer. So, but I mean, she admitted on stand that when whatever happened happened, she went to sleep with Aiden. He woke up at five o'clock and left. The first call she made to report this was to Sergeant Tully, not to 911. And prior to this, she had Tully's phone number because Mr. Mello gave it to her. So she's been in touch with Mr. Mello and Mr. Tully prior to Aiden even being arrested. That's, yeah, that's telling. That says a lot. Yeah, it's like noontime now. We're out here in front of the district court. I'll show you what that looks like up here. So we're out front of the district court. And we think that this is all going to go away today, but unfortunately we don't think Turtle Boy is going to walk. Uh, he'll have to go over to the court across the street over here, which is the Superior Court. And that's where we were actually the other day for Karen's hearing. Um, so, you know, we'll continue to hang out here support Aiden, see what happens. We have a couple people that are out here today going into court when it goes back into session. They're on a break right now. When they go back into session, they're, they're able to go in there and let us know and come out and give us some information. So we'll be out here for a while. I'll be out here supporting Tom. Tom's got a huge live stream going. I think there's over 2,000 people in the chat right now. A lot. Keep supporting Tom. Uh, it's his stream. Let's yeah. get people over there. But support Brian more because Brian ah. does a lot. <laughs> he, he was here first. He does a lot of great work. Support both of them. Yes. Oh, there we go. We're going to need to support everybody. Let's support Karen. How yes. about that? Support Karen. Support Aiden. Support Aiden. And the Cant Nine. And Justice for John O'Keefe. Yeah. And also, uh, you know, all the other channels that have been doing their oh, work. Oh, yeah. Too. The, the Glare. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, like making Law Simple, yeah. Unsafe Spaces. Just Melody Little's now everybody. picked it up, yeah, she's which has great. been great. Ah, she's wonderful. So, Thank God. We yeah. need more, though. You guys are all doing awesome. Yeah. You're all doing great. We need more, though. So we'll get some updates back for you guys in a little while. Take care. All right, we're outside of uh, district court here. We just got a little bit of an update. Tom, what are you, what are you hearing so far? You said um, Aiden's on the stand Aiden, right now? Yeah, Aiden's on the stand, and his lawyer is asking him if he, if he ever hit her or touched her in a way that would be assault. Okay. And he said no. Okay. So that's a good part. And earlier you said something about a thumb drive. They were looking through some phone or text messages? Yes. She has text messages between her and Sergeant Tully from the state police, as well as um, Mello, the private investigator, I'm sorry, the special prosecutor. She's got text messages between her and, and them. And a, they have them and they're trying to read them on the stand now. So it's, it's there should never be text messages between Tully, who's a murder cop, mm -hmm. and the special prosecutor. I can see a special prosecutor maybe, but when the when the incident happened, she didn't call the police. She called Tully. She called Tully. Why? And Tully <laughs> called Mello. <clears throat> then Tully called the police. The police called the victim. Yeah. I never called the one victim when I was a cop. Never. I never had Usually to, if I'm in trouble, I call 911. You pick up 911 and they come. That's yeah. what happens. Not Here they call Tully. They got a special... They got special, a, the bat a, line, a one, right? one, one. It's the bat line, It's the right? bat line. It's the bat directly. line. I knew it. So yeah, she's right got to an Gotham inside, City. inside yeah, line. Right to Gotham City. And <laughs> we're here because of that. Right. So like I said, Aiden's on the stand right now. Tom's getting some updates. I'll hang here for a little bit. Candy alleges the picture from the victim was from 2021, and the victim was at the clinic. So she claims to be pregnant, and it's not, it's not happening. <coughs> She's not, the proof isn't there. Yep, 
it's not there, unfortunately. And thank you, everybody, that's been giving us the live coverage and, and updates. That oh, really everybody. helps us outside here. I mean, anytime we can talk about this in any way, it's good. Yeah. It's good because the injustices that we see in the Karen Reed trial are the same ones we see here with Aiden. It's the same thing. Just two different people. Absolutely. Same players. You know, the same same people at the top. Right. So we should we're here though. Because we believe in, in the truth. Absolutely. So Alright, we'll keep checking back in. And uh, like I said, Aiden's on the stand right now. He's answering some questions. And uh, we'll check back in. All right, guys. See you soon. She called him a dweeb? Um, okay. Really? That's like... Okay. A dweeb. Just a reminder, everybody. Tomorrow's Tom's birthday. Birthday. Yeah, it's Tom's Wish birthday. Wish him a tomorrow. happy birthday. I'll be old tomorrow. <laughs> eighteen. He's yeah. turning eighteen. Well, he he is. Again. Can he finally. Is. Uh, what are you? What are you able to do at eighteen? Oh, gam. Uh, no, you vote. Can, I can and, vote. And and gamble. Vote. Yeah. Vote. I think I can gamble eighteen. You can gamble at eighteen in some gambling. states. No, you can't buy cigarettes. No cigarettes. No twenty one now. Used to be twenty one. The yeah. judge allows a question. A ring camera <clears throat> recorded the victim and Candy having sex. Candy says this was the first time. This is out of control. Learned about it's the nuts. videos, but the two were constantly sexing each other. Okay, so it was a relationship. Okay, who's that? Leah, thank you so much. Um, the victim expressed to Candy that she felt Candy was you know pressing what this her is. into abortion. They want to put all his wow. personal stuff out there to make him look like an evil person. That's what Absolutely. this is. To get oh, it out yeah. there and make this him look make like an evil person. Possible. Right. That's exactly what this is. Wow. So they're just trying to embarrass him and get all this stuff out there. Radel just says, like they tried to do with Karen yeah, with yeah. all her stuff. But she should but be that's embarrassed not, too. Like, Radel yeah. said the victim has testified she is in fear because Candy reports people to DCF. Yeah. What kind of person does that make you? Right. He ain't the one that does it, by the way, lady. Is that, is that against the law? Without his consent. Without his yeah. consent, yeah. Absolutely. Big time. Oh, that's she more did than that. That's like, really bad. Yeah. Well, here. that's the whole thing with uh, um, Hulk Hogan. Yes. Because they were recording him without his knowledge. And he sued, um, what was it? I think it was, not Reuters. Gawker, maybe? But they, he ended up taking that whole media outlet down because they distributed the tape and they weren't allowed to. I think he won like a $50 million lawsuit from that. And I would think that if it was during like an intimate act like that, yeah. it'd be more serious. 100%. Because I mean, if like I'm recording yeah. you, right now, like without you Which you can because so we're in public. I need to say it can be recorded in public. In but that's, that's if true. you're having an intimate relationship okay. and you're in the bedroom with someone and they're recording that that's yeah. illegal because they're not giving you you're not giving exactly. consent to do that and it's an invasion of right 100 percent trying to get updates from tom he's walking away tom, come back here. <laughs> tom i'm trying to get updates oh i'm sorry i'm talking about, <laughs> trying to talk about my, my moderators on my channel <laughs> and how awesome they are yeah Catherine, <laughs> melissa uh mj they're fabulous just wonderful, wonderful. They do so much work for me. I can't thank them enough. They're, they're super great people. They're and, on top of and you got Carrie, but I got three guys. I got three I got, of them. Yeah. I got three of them. You know, I, I got, got a few. You know, Blair has got Cherry, and and I got Melissa. I got Catherine. I got I got a bunch of them. They're awesome. So, um, da, da, da. so what's the latest, Tom? All right. Right now they're going over whether or not. Um, they were they were having um, relations on video, which is illegal because if you don't give consent, right, super illegal. Um, I'm pretty sure he didn't know about it. Kenny says he was frightened of the victim when the victim says she felt pressure to have an abortion by Kenny. So here we go back to the baby thing. She's trying to say that she felt pressure from Aiden about this abortion. She baby, wasn't pregnant! Of a baby that didn't even exist. So, 
flip. That's like me being afraid of being, you know, I'm afraid of being pregnant. I'm gonna get knocked Are up. Get pregnant? away. Get away. You're gonna make me pregnant. Tom's pregnant. You're gonna make me pregnant. Tom's oh, pregnant. You know? <laughs> so, like, she, she can't argue I think he about being in fear of, from the pregnancy if she wasn't right. pregnant and she knew she wasn't pregnant. Right. There's no, it doesn't work like that. December 6th, the victim and Candy met at Dragon 88 to discuss how the victim was still pregnant. December 6th. I feel like most women. Wow. Say, I'm sorry, it's my body, my decision. And that's true. Yeah. You're Ready not to last gonna candy. make me do something I don't want to do when it comes to my health. Ready? Here we go. Bray will ask Candy if the victim lied about being pregnant. Candy says he thought she was a liar because she was having trauma over the abortion. Um, Candy says he thought she was a liar because she was having trauma over the abortion. She was pretending to cry on the phone, says Candy. Bray will cuts him off. Did the date of the abortion change? Is it still Christmas? How can you have an abortion if you're not pregnant? That's why you got the abortion pill, because that's easier to fake than going to a clinic and doing it. Oh, yeah. So we're still out here uh, supporting Aiden, who's on the stand right now. We're getting some updates via Tom in the live chat on his stream. We'll definitely keep checking back in here. All right, we'll check in soon. Hey, Rita. How are you? Good to see you. How are you uh, enjoying this uh, so far? It's very enlightening. Yeah. Very and credibility is everything. Everything. So, I mean, uh, Bradle's uh, doing a great job oh, at, at destroying her credibility. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we've been hearing the live tweets, so. It's, uh, well, and, and, you know, because we don't want to get witness intimidation, so. You know, right. No, Bradle is doing a good question is questioning her and she is inconsistent with her answers because we don't you know <laughs> yeah right. there's no interpretation of mass law <clears throat> i think he's caught her lying <laughs> yeah yeah okay. we can put it like that right? yeah 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 there goes no, Bradle right teasing, there yeah, teasing. Yeah. Bradle's okay yeah oh Bradle is yes, the, yes. if you're facing a 209 that's aiden's attorney right there if anybody doesn't know If, if you're facing a 209A, which is normally a simple little thing, you, you wouldn't want a better attorney than Breed. Oh, right 100%. Because this is uh, a thousand just, times a regular like, thing. All right, so we're on a break here, I think until 2 o'clock. Um, I just caught a lot of the supporters for Aiden here today. Um, so we're going to take a little bit of a break. I don't and uh, hang out and then recess will be back, court will be back at two. So again, you know, this is just the, kind of the process. It's, it's a little bit of the waiting game and um, you know, everything goes well. You know, we're just waiting right now. Let's see. Tim in November that she was going to have an abortion. She had asked him to stay over. In November? November. Okay. He stayed over. She said she needed a ride home. She wouldn't have been able to drive herself home. In the morning, she told him she didn't want him to go. She would do it herself. So he went to Panera Bread, sat around waiting for her call or text. Didn't hear anything from her. She had sent him a picture from the clinic, which he later discovered was from 2021, I believe he said, when he didn't even know her. She ignored him for the next week. He kept trying to call her, text her, find out. He had no idea whether she was pregnant still or had gone through with it. She showed up at his court appearance, met up with him afterwards, and told him that she did have it and that she was traumatized, was crying. He was trying to support her, was there for her. 
And then I guess a week later, she had told him, by the way, I didn't actually have one. And I'm so glad. And she actually, she had said something to the fact of, if you think nine charges are bad, wait until I'm done with you. Wow. She admitted to talking to Tully, to Mello. He had said that he wanted to get her a lawyer to help her out of this, that he was sympathetic towards her, even though she essentially, you know. Yep, she, yep. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. But she just left him for a week straight, not knowing whether or not she was pregnant or not. And she also, there was text messages where he said that he would seek custody, and she said, no, you won't. I'll lie and say it's not yours. Wow. 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 Okay, so she's a tiny little Jesus. thing of a girl. But it- All right, everybody. Uh, we're on a lunch break right now. I'm going to head back to the car and warm up. Um, they've had Aiden on the stand for about the last hour. His attorney's been asking a lot of questions. And as you can see uh, from everybody that was inside the courtroom giving Sometimes us Sometimes these things take time. We're just going to hang out a little while longer and see what happens, and I'll give you some updates. Okay, a little update from court. Um, I actually went inside. I sat in for this afternoon session. Uh, we're on a little bit of a break, and right now there could be some possibilities of some witnesses being called uh, to testify for Aiden. So um, that's being worked out right now. Like I said, there's another break. Uh, unfortunately, I'm probably not gonna be able to stick around too much longer I might have to go because I do have some personal things to do but uh, I know that we'll get updates from Tom Tom's over here streaming behind me so and um, you know it was interesting interesting to sit in court it's you know it, it's extremely it's em- embarrassing a lot of things that you know you, you have to listen to in there a lot of personal details get put out there and I can only imagine the embarrassment that Aiden's having to go through right now but you know the truth needs to come out and it looks like we're getting the truth I just want to get out here today and support Aiden and uh, give you guys some updates as well too so I'll check back in soon talk to y'all soon bye